I mean, I just think that just raw athletic ability is there. He's a try hard guy. Um, and I think that, you know, coaching is going to help him. And I also think being around Tank Lawrence is going to help him as well because mm -hmm. he was just as raw as Tank coming out of Boise. You know, you look at the, you turn on the film and you look at, you know, how he works his hands and his feet. He does a good job. You know, it's just sometimes guys just get confused on their moves, feet going one way, hands <laughs> going another way. And I think he does that sometimes but once sometimes but I believe that once you refine those little things you may have a player uh, in a guy like that where you know some of your developmental guys again there's gonna be a lot of competition when you look at these names based off of the guys that we have on the roster right now the Bradley and Nyes and you know Armstrong's Basham is a guy they're gonna have to compete with yeah, no, I like. I just like his motor, man. I, I like his yep. motor. I, I like. I like guys on defense side of the ball that just go ham. Um, and I think you know I've, I've alluded to that here with in terms of Dan Quinn. And once we sign on Quinn, he wants the guys that that have that go juice. He wants the guys that he doesn't want to have to coach about effort. Right, yeah. we don't. We don't have to. You know, he doesn't want to have to worry about those comments like we've seen this season about you know what I'm saying I go I don't go hard all the time. He doesn't want those guys. He wants the guys that that he knows what he's going to get out of them. And then guess what? Yeah. Once you have that in you, I can now coach you to be a better player. I can yeah. now coach you and critique you, right, to, and kill you on all those things that make you better, right? Don't do this. Do this. Here's a little tweak, right? Talking about D-Law. D-Law can now lead him in, the, in those, in those yes. areas and teach him, right, on the field. Um, but this guy has a heck of a motor, and he jumps off the screen at you. We all talk about guys jumping off the screen. When, he, when that ball snaps, he is going to the end of the whistle, and he's trying to knock yep. your face off. So the combination of him and the combination of Neil, also that those two acquisitions, those guys go hard when the ball is snapping. They don't stop until their head is through your chest. And that is the type of attitude, the type of energy that we need on that side of the ball.